Hello, welcome to Let Your Yoga Dance. I'm Terry Shuck, and this is the first of a little mini series of Let Your Yoga Dance hosted by the Willow Street Yoga Center. Um, and it is a wonderful practice that combines gentle yoga with movement and music from around the world, um, really designed to spread joy through our body health, our heart health, our brain health, and our soul health. So we're going to um, just try to take 10 or 15 minutes in this bite and focus on each chakra as we go. And today, we're going to focus on the first chakra, Muladhara. And it literally means root chakra. And what does chakra mean? Chakra means wheel. We're like, they're essentially, it's a figurative language for the energy centers in our body, our energetic body, in relation to our physical body. It's really multidimensional. Often you see that beautiful picture of the ch chakras up from the root to the head, but it's really actually going inside and outside. It is a total three-dimensional set of wheels moving through us, but it's a wonderful framework uh, for um, just opening up your body and connecting to your energetic body. So let me show you a little picture here of Muladhara, the first chakra. Here, um, I can share the screen. I'm trying to get my Zoom act together. There you see it. See, notice it is the first chakra. It is at our root, solid. See the square there, the center, the four lotus petals. Really, this is a solid. It's, it's the most dense part of the chakra system. It's our connection to earth. It is our home. It is our bodies. So those beautiful mantra words, I am safe. Mulata Harda is all about the nourishment, our shelter, our food, our sense of safety and well-being, and our sense of support, our home, being centered and grounded. So let's get grounded with uh, Mulata Hara. And um, first we're going to start with a little pranayama, a little breath ac exercise that helps us um, tune into the present moment and into our bodies and into our energy. So find a good seat. I'm gonna sit here on a chair. And you know, you can sit on the floor if you like and sit on a chair. Um, this notion of getting rooted to our tailbone, just like wiggling back and forth and feeling yourself connected to the earth right through that tailbone. And then just feel yourself get tall, rise up, like lifting up through the whole body straight spine, the crown reaching towards the heaven, and just rest your hands gently on your thighs and become present to your own breath. Just notice. Let's inhale through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. Let's do that again. Inhale through the nose. Full, loud exhale. One more time, through the nose. Out to mouth. <sighs> now just return to the natural rhythm of your breath, keeping that strong, straight spine rooted to the first chakra on earth. Let's practice this pranayama called sukha breath, meaning easy breath. It's a one to one to one to one ratio, like a square, solid. And so we're going to inhale on the count of four, hold the breath for four counts. Exhale on the count of four and hold the exhale for four counts. And then just repeat that with that steady, even flow. Just try to let your breath lead here, but we'll use the count just to increase our focus um, on the breath. Okay, so are you ready? Inhale, two, three, four. Hold, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four. Hold, two, three, four. Inhale, two, three, four. Hold, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four. Hold, two, three, four. Inhale, hold, exhale. Hold, inhale, 
holding. Exhale, hold. Now just follow that in your own mind and your own breath for another round. Okay, let that go. Return to the natural rhythm of your breath. Be present to yourself. And notice um, that when our chakra one is a little imbalanced, we can feel a little lethargic, a little too earthy, heavy. And when it's out of whack, whack a little too majestic or too energized, anxious, fearful about the future. So trying to find that balance in our will is just really using that kind of easy breath anytime, anywhere, any day. It's good for your blood pressure, literally scientifically supported good breathing or lowering blood pressure and finding yourself more present. So let's do a little bit of a sauna. And this is um, the most fundamental pose for chakra one, Tadasana. It's the most fundamental pose and foundational pose for all of yoga. So every pose is Tadasana in different shapes and forms. But So let's find, stand well, find our mountain, our Tadasana. So, you know, let your feet, you know, hold your feet around hip distance apart, right straight on down. Your, 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 little, your middle toes are like, facing forward, so your feet are forward. All right, now let's lift the toes off the ground and then put them down, rooted to the earth. And then come forward a little bit on the balls of your feet. Lift your heels off the ground just a little bit. Let your heels come down and then feel yourself firmly planted on all four corners of the feet, strongly rooted to the earth. And then let's like come up the inseams of our legs. Just pull right up, feel that energy come right up to your pelvis and right here to your, where your hip creases meet. You know, just feel that nice engagement of the legs without locking out your knees, but strong legs. Gentle tuck to the tailbone, just a little bit like you're zipping up your pants so your core is engaged. And then feeling around here, the Feel your ribs pull in. Just engage this core so you're strong in your mountain. It's rooted to the earth. Now keep that. Keep all that. And then just open your heart. Here we're coming to the heart center. Open your, let your shoulders relax gently on the back. Open your hands to the universe and to, you know, your service in the world. And let your ears rise just so that your chin is parallel to the floor. And then, you know, feel your crown reaching to the heaven. And then grow one more inch tall and just feel the beauty and strength and power of your mountain, firmly rooted to the earth, connected to heaven. Our fundamental yoga pose, standing well. And if your arms are feeling like it, stay raise them up. <sighs> Reach high keeping all that strength in your body, but then just stretch a little and climb your mountain. Oh, all right. So every day, when, you know, when, uh, with every Let Your Yoga Dance, we want to warm up our spine. And we just did the most fundamental direction, the spine, straight and tall, Tadasana. And now we're going to do a little extension and, and um, flexing of the spine. So come to your knees. Hands stay so you're steady and just like let's inhale forward, open the heart, you know, arching the back, and then exhale. Look at your belly button. This is sort of our traditional cow and cat. We're often doing this on our mat, but you can do this standing, you can do it in a chair. Just warming up that spine. Now bring your feet together 
and let's rise up again and do the lateral movements of the spine. So take a hold of your left wrist with your right hand and pull up and stretch over to the side. Of course, if your shoulders are bothering you, you can just move like the same thing on the spine. You can lift your arm only if that feels good for your shoulders and come back down. Let's do that on the other side. Lift up, take your right wrist in your left hand and stretch to the side, lateral move. And if you prefer, just do that move with your hands at your side. Or you can lift that arm up. Oh, side stretch. Feel your ribs open. Okay, now back to center. And now we're going to gently twist the spine. Those are the other two directions. Our spine's going So inhale your arms up. Exhale, twist, keeping with really from the center of your body. Inhale up. Exhale, twist to the other side. Inhale. Exhale to the other side. One more time. Up. And exhale. Lovely. So we'll, we'll include a little more spine motion in one of our in our first dance as we get grounded here in Lula Nahara. But I also want to share with you one of the core poses for strengthening our legs, our quads, and our glutes to be strong in chakra one and supporting ourselves in walking through the world. So um, this is the basic squat. This is, you know, really leg strengthening for your body, but you can quirk out your knees, and so we want to take care of our knees. So we're going to keep our knees aligned over our feet, right, when we squat down. Just keeping, and then also, don't go any further than can you keep your heels on the floor, so that protects the knees, using the full support of your feet. So don't go any further. If your heels start to come up, you've gone too far, all right? And the other thing that makes this a strong exercise is if you really pull down with your psoas here. Like, you know, you're really not just dropping on your knees, you're actually pulling down, feeling like almost like you're doing a little barbell lifts. Imagine that you're holding a heavy barbell. And so as you come down, just really kind of almost a little resistance there, keeping your back straight, you're over your legs. So this is probably the most important thing you can do every day to keep, if you're sitting in a chair a lot, just practicing squats, you can go further and you can hold it to create even more power in your legs. But you are the boss of you and, you, and the whole point of yoga is to listen to your body and what it's telling you in any pain in knees or anywhere else, it means back off, okay? That's true when you're dancing, it's true when you're Running, walking, listen to the body. It's the whole point of yoga. <sighs> Lovely squat exercise. Strengthening glutes. These things hold us up and keep us from compressing if we're getting too short in these muscles, our lower back. So opening up and strengthening legs and back. Good for backs. Okay, and let's take that squat into another lovely pose that we can play with where you just step out a little wider and you go down into like goddess. <sighs> Rise up. Goddess. <sighs> Keeping knees over the, tracking over those feet and ankles. <sighs> All right. And then we'll turn this a little bit into a balancing pose because practicing balance every day keeps us healthy as we age, right? Because that's where we our biggest risk falling. Balance is important. So, here we are, we're going to inhale the left arm up and bring it back in. Inhale the right arm up and bring it back in. Inhale both arms out and bring that foot in front like this. You find your balance here, you're still holding in your car core. And then coming back to center into goddess. Okay, let's do that on the other side. Inhale, left. Inhale, right. Inhale, both. And cross over. And the next time you do that, let's see if you can bring your foot up. 
This is Shiva pose. Goddess. Shiva. Shiva. So that's one way to walk through the road like Shiva. Shiva. In the Hindu tradition, that's the, the face of God that is about destruction and transformation. And we are kind of in a Shiva moment in time right now. So the goal of getting your cosmic dancer on, dancing like Shiva in the center of the fire, is to find that joy, find your center, find your grounding in the middle of all the crazy. Yeah? So um, those are the other poses. Let's dance a little. You want to dance? We'll do this wonderful um, walking a song where we will do a little of that goddess and Shiva. And then when the chorus comes, we'll do the inflection and extension of the spine. And then a little more Shiva goddess pose during the verses. And then the next chorus, we'll do the side lateral stretches. And then um, the, uh, the verse where we will do goddess and Shiva walking again. And then the final um, chorus will be our twisting move, okay? We'll twist, All right? Coming back to that. Shall we go? I mean, it's not too hard. You can follow me and it is just letting this beautiful yoga dance. All right, I'm gonna put the music on. But first, I have to share with my computer on the music. There we go. There we go. And here's the song. It's May We Walk in Beauty by Leah Saloma. May we walk in beauty in a sacred way. May we walk in beauty each and every day. May we walk in beauty in a sacred way. May we walk 
lovely. You can move with your own intelligence with that. Whoa, we're not going to cite that yet. Going to give you a little setup for this one. Um, so we have one more yoga dance, and this is really waking up the whole energetic body. It's a little qi huang, actually, where you know qi being the energy, and this is an energetic body practice. And we're just going to—it's called slap. We're just going to tap our whole body, starting at the feet, each leg, up the torso, arms, and head. Okay, so this is just a lovely little wake up exercise. And here we go. Nothing to get right, friends. This is your dance. Okay. Feet, fingers, tapping toes. Move your bones where the rhythm goes. Dance your dreams, love your woes. Discover what your body knows. Leg up, lance, dance, to the side, leg, flame, slap, goes the drum, sturdy, unavoidable stride, buffet. Cross up, brown, down, dig, wiggle again, there's no mistake and there is no sin, allow the drum to make your chin grin, so get off your seat, feel the beat, repeat, you don't have to be an athlete, I just jump, jive, jump, and bam, move your feet out of your hands, slip and slap, I don't plan that, but I'll be an exam. Spin, dive, and sweat, rising wet on air. So we get together, cop around us, kick, shuffle, bubble, double up, double back home, home. Move it as you go slow, slow. Down as you go low, low. Cross the earth floor, floor. Do the body dog, dog. Do the stuff, call, call. Where we heal us all, so. Turn, tip, a dip and jerk. Skipping what the head learned. Yearn, but it's over. Like a, like a, like a, like a lander, 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 lander. Slap, goes the drum. Sturdy, unavoidable, stride. up, brown, down, dig, wiggle again, take yourself and take your friend, black, red, white, and yellow blend, hey, well then, surely and love will be the dividend, flick, flag, roll back, boot, jack, I do, back in the ocean with the shoe, feel the motion of the moon, 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 all the blessings of Allah, wisdom of the Kabbalah, la, la, la. love of Christ, shaman, slain, at the core of all the same, 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 take your well, ring your bell, open up your voice and yell, now, now, now. Got a real rock and ruffle, quick and quick as image, shuffles, tigers, the swing and sway in your time and in your way, 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 way. Dots to get in, okay, get in, okay, that I get to dot, to get in, okay, did not get in, okay, get to talk it, that I 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 get to talk it, and they slap, they slap, goes a drum, drum, sturdy and avoidable, stride, 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 fade. Cross up, brown, down, dig, wiggle again, shake and wake your bones and skin, getting what they have and what they cost, so lose what you got. Get what you lost, put your head in your heart, put your heart in your funk. Come on, everybody, and move your junk. Elbow brush and bubble back, wobble this and wobble that. Toss your hands up high, fling your arms across the sky. The drum, drum, sturdy and avoidable stride of faith. Lovely. Wow. Do you feel your your? Do you feel like a little buzzy? How do you feel? Just check in with yourself. How's your body? You feel different than when you started this two minutes? Whoops. There goes our music. Again. Sorry. All right. So you're in your breath. We did our little sauna, we did our pranayama, we did our dance. And now just to think about 
anything, you know, just taking this balancing of Mulahara, getting grounded in the earth, in your home. But you can also just take a walk in nature. May you walk in beauty and uh, in a sacred way, just pay attention to where you are in the beauty of nature. That will really help bring you into the present and calm any anxiety you might be feeling at this time. Certainly gathering food, cooking food, the smell of food makes us feel home and grounded. Gardening, man, digging the earth, make things grow. Um, and take care of yourself because when we take care of each other and we actually commit to a society that takes care of other people with food and shelter and health care, this will be the foundation of a good society, of a good life for our country and our democracy. So keep breathing, keep walking, keep dancing through the crazy, and we'll see you next week um, with Chakra 2.